Everything you need to know about data analysis jobs in Canada. We will discuss in this video. Hey everyone, if you are new to this channel, my name is Sahil Gugna and on this channel, I invite different industry professionals to bring forward their experience with the Canadian industry. In this video, I invited a data analyst and in this video, we will try to answer the questions that you guys have been asking me for a long time. So without any delay, let's get started. Hi Simar, first of all, thanks a lot for joining the call today. It's my pleasure, Sahil. So Simar, before we begin our questions, so can you please introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah, so myself, Simar Preet Singh, and I am currently based in Ottawa, Ontario. My career in Canada st started back in uh, fall 2017 when I joined uh, Concordia University for my master's in software engineering. I, I did uh, complete my master's in 2019, December, and then I was in a full, I worked for one year uh, as a performance and reporting specialist at one of the IT companies in uh, Montreal and now uh, I have moved to Ottawa uh, one year back and now I'm moving uh, working as a data analyst in another IT company in Ottawa. And similar one question that I get a lot from the students is that choosing a university versus choosing a college. So if their final aim is to land a good job in the industry as a data analyst so does it matter if you are a college graduate or a university graduate when you apply for the jobs? Well, uh, this is a very good question, Sahil. It depends. So if you have a prior experience in the BI field, uh, particularly data analytics, then it doesn't matter. Then your uh, college okay. education doesn't matter. But if you want to join uh, as a data analyst and you are a fresher in this field, then uh, it matters to some extent. But at the end, it's all the skills. It's all about the skills that you have. Whether you are college graduate or whether you are a experienced professional in Canada the in interviews the companies always uh, like they recognize you based on your skills they don't see you the if you have done your degree completed your degree from Concordia or if you have completed your degree from Montreal College of Information Technology it's 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 all about the skills it all depends if you are a fresher you can develop those skills by doing extra projects but if you are an experienced professional then definitely if uh, if there's a fresh and there's an experienced professional who is doing the interview and obviously the experienced professional who is already having that experience in this field will be given preference. What I want to say uh, is at the end that it's all about the skills. That's it. So college degree, it matters to some extent for freshers, but not for experienced professionals. And similar, since you have experience in Montreal, uh, as well as now in Ottawa, so basically you have experience in uh, two big provinces, Quebec and Ontario. So is there any uh, difference between the job scenarios? Uh, is there any province that can be considered hub and how is the industry for the data analysis? I mean, are there enough jobs? So uh, data analyst industry in Canada, it's pretty good. But uh, if mm -hmm. we compare Quebec and Ontario, then obviously Ontario is considered to be the hub of all IT jobs. It's not only the data in the field, the job in the field of data analytics, but every other industry, uh, every other field in IT. So Ontario is obviously the hub of uh, all the IT jobs in Canada. And it's one of the majors like Toronto and Ottawa. They are one of the major cities in Canada for IT jobs. And then uh, the second comparison and if we if i compare quebec and ontario it's between the salaries ontario is a bit on a higher scale uh, than quebec in in this field as well as other, all other fields of i so that's what i i see but yes the opportunities are definitely more in ontario compared to quebec and sima you already made it clear that uh, the experienced professionals are at an advantage as compared to the freshers if the freshers they want to get a good job what are the skills that they can develop so first of all if uh, somebody is a 100% fresher in this field to for a fresher to come into to enter the BI field he has to do some extra projects so first of all if I talk about the skills so basically in uh, in BI industry it's ETL which is called extract transform load that is the career path so that is the basically the starting point of entrance into this field so extract basically means extracting data from the databases so one of the skills that any fresher can start with in this field is SQL that is structured query language so that is a language to fetch data from databases. So that is one of the starting points that is expected uh, for any data, list, data analyst to have in the industry. So that is SQL, Structured Query Language. Then I come to the second uh, uh, letter in the abbreviation that is Transform, T. So Transform is basically once you get the data from databases, how you manipulate that data to bring it in a, into a cleaner format. So then, then for transforming, you can, uh, like any uh, fresher can learn data wrangling tools like now there are many 
data wrangling tools in the market nowadays like talent tableau right tableau prep so these these the, any data wrangling tools they can learn to to get to learn about the t every way the t phrase of the etl abbreviation then i come to the load l l stands for load so once you have extracted the data using sql which is one skill first skill then data wrangling tools and then load so for load you, uh, they can learn any uh, app, like front end tools like uh, nowadays uh, power bi is very famous so that is one application then informatica is another tool very famous so so if i would if i would like to summarize this whole question it's sql uh, data wrangling tools and then front end uh, application like uh, power bi like uh, informatic so these are the skills that any fresher sh should start with and similar if i'm not wrong you also have experience in teaching so you have taught in one of the colleges in montreal so i would like to ask if a fresher is applying the role of a data analyst here in canada so what do you think they can what are the challenges that they can face and how to overcome those challenges yeah it's a uh, like it's a good question to focus on basically so uh, in canada what i have observed from my experience the canadian industry they don't consider anyone as a 100% fresher as like if we compare it to the indian job industry in india okay. freshers they get proper training before uh, landing before starting full time but it's not the case in canada they have like even for with freshers the canadian job market they have some expectations that this candidate should know somewhat they like he should not be 100% fresher and we like because in canada what i have observed from my experience no company uh, gives like uh, three four months of training to any fresher right so this is one thing so for any fresher uh, this is one challenge that they should know something and, and they should, it's not that they, if they do nothing they it's very difficult to enter into canadian job and second uh, challenge is like the job apply uh, application to interview ratio for freshers is low in uh, canada so if you are 100% fresher and if you don't have any prior professional experience so if you are applying to 50 jobs there is very large uh, like uh, probability that you will get a call from one or two companies out of 50 so this is the second challenge freshers can face in canada the third challenge is like uh, when students uh, they graduate from a uh, uh, university or a college and they don't have any prior experience mm -hmm. so they like they feel that based on their degree they can get a, jo a job but it's not the case if you don't have prior ex professional experience you will have to showcase your skills by doing some extra projects or something and that project should be good project it's not that if you do basic projects you will get into the job market so the third challenge is doing extra projects and doing good extra projects to showcase in your cv for freshers is very important and similar uh, whatever you have said i want to discuss two major points one is certifications and the second one is project so let's first dive into the certification part so you have already made it clear that one should know some uh, concepts of sql some tools like talent or maybe informatica but are there any professional certifications that can give an edge to the fresher when they apply for the jobs i mean the professional certification in which they have to appear for exam and then they are certified uh, so yes uh, there are a lot of uh, certifications like uh, python certification is very popular nowadays so learning uh, python from the data analysis mm -hmm. point of view and they can do a certification uh, for that then second is talent uh, has a, a series of certifications that they offer so that's uh, if uh, someone has a associate certification in talent that's uh, will be, that will be very helpful and then uh, if we talk about the other stuff uh, if we talk about the front and applications like power bi and all th these also have certification so power bi they are microsoft offers certif certifications of power bi so that will uh, obviously help but one thing i want to make clear I, as per my experience here is that what i have observed is certifications they matter like they carry a weightage only for freshers for experienced professionals obviously they have prior experience in the same field so certifications they don't carry that much weightage as compared to freshers and so much talking about about the project part that you have earlier mentioned so i have personally reviewed a lot of resumes for data analysis aspirants and i have noticed one thing that most of the resumes they have either the their skill set as some data manipulation libraries in python or they have few projects in uh, data visualization tools such as tableau so my question is how many projects are enough for in, in the resume for a fresher and what type of projects they should make because what i have noticed that they they have like two or three projects they have the same background like they are made in tableau and they are making the dashboards and everything like 
conceptually they are not different but the data sets are different do you think is it it's a good approach what would you call the good project so uh, as per my experience th there is no right answer to the number of projects that one can do Th that can be any number but uh, the but the answer to the second question like uh, is that they, they what i have observed is companies in the interviews they test the data and anal analysis skills of the candidate so basically how well a candidate can conclude the uh, from data like how well a candidate can conclude the output from the data how well he can explain the data to the clients that is what co companies nowadays see so uh, to to showcase some of the data analysis skills uh, as a fresher uh, there is a very good website called kaggle uh, so they, that website has many uh, good data sets to start with so you can take any data set from there like uh, sh like do analysis on that data using uh, programming languages like python or uh, using uh, front-end tools like Power BI, right? So you can take that data set, clean that data set using tools like Talent and all those tools. Then you can use also SQL to uh, like conclude the output from that data. So basically uh, mm -hmm. use these skills, SQL, Talent, uh, Power BI, Python uh, to analyze the data. So the, from the data, uh, what company sees how well the candidate can conclude, uh, like what the data explains. So that is one of the primary skills that can uh, companies see in the interview. People like uh, Kaggle is what I have found is a very good website. They can take the data sets from there and apply these skills to analyze the data from different data sets. And similar, if we talk about the interview process for the data analyst jobs here in Canada, so what's the general interview process according to your experience and what's the weightage for each round? So what exactly is asked in the technical round are there any online coding rounds or all the project all the interviews are just focused on the projects and the knowledge so what's the breakdown and how easy or difficult the technical interviews can be so in canada what i have observed is uh, mostly the interview process begins with a hr interview can be a on call interview or can be a zoom or anything and then uh, as far as technical rounds are concerned uh, they basically uh, sometimes it's an online assessment to begin with in technical round followed by uh, two or three uh, personal interviews so basically what they uh, they they can give you some uh, python code to write like they can give you a data set and ask you to analyze data using python like uh, and then if i talk about uh, front end uh, applications like power bi so they can uh, give you a data set and give you a scenario that you have to uh, showcase this uh, scenario using this data set using power bi so then uh, it's a like a uh, live test basically live kind of test they like they can uh, share the they can share their screen uh, in a zoom interview and ask you to uh, create a visualization based on the data set so it's a live demonstration of your work so these kind of interviews uh, is are generally what they ask and uh, for and if i talk about the skills then um, it's uh, majorly sql queries and uh, python programming and uh, uh, then creating different visualizations. If it's a data visualization role, then they will definitely ask to create live visualizations. Right? And if it's a uh, application programmer type of role, then they will uh, ask you uh, to code uh, using uh, their preferred uh, programming language that they use. So, but the weightage of the technical rounds it varies from company to company. But this is a general process what I have observed. And similar, before we end our conversation. Uh... I want to ask you about the salaries for the data analyst role. So what salary of fresher and an experienced candidate expect in the Canadian market? So uh, uh, the salaries uh, for freshers, it's not on a very high uh, scale. Uh, what I have observed is for freshers, it's uh, anywhere between 50 to 55K CAD. But as you go up the ladder in your professional okay. career, the salaries in this role increase and it can go up to even 90K or 100K. Also. So, but for freshers, it's not uh, too much, to be honest. But uh, uh, the average average salary what I have observed in Canada for data analyst is around 65k. Well, I guess that's it for our today's talk. Thanks a lot, Simma, for taking your time and sharing your valuable experience with the viewers. Thank you. So guys, this was our today's video and I hope you have learned a lot. For more such amazing content, please make sure to subscribe the channel. And if you're interested in the Canadian IT industry and the other industries, you will learn a lot from this channel. And for my upcoming video, I'm interviewing an IT recruiter so that you guys can know how exactly they process your resumes and what exactly they expect from the students and their profiles. So see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe.